A Wedding Money Product Guide Chapter 1 A Wedding Money Guide Who Pays for the Wedding? In virtually every culture all over the world throughout human history, in one type of ceremony or another, a young woman who has reached the age of fertility is married off to a man. In some cultures, the girl's family pays off a dowry to a guy for marrying her like in India which is why girls are second-class citizens and many killed off at birth, because the family doesn't want to have to pay a dowry in order to marry her off later. In others, the guy must pay a fee to the family for giving him their daughter. Whoever pays the dowry is the inferior one in that society and is paying for the privilege of being married. There have been traditions as to who pays what for a wedding but these days it's not exactly cut in stone. Traditionally, the bride's family paid for the wedding but the groom's family paid for engagement and wedding rings, marriage license and helped out with other things. It's best to have the both sets of parents talk it out and share expenses. The tradition started in the old days when families offered large dowries to men in order to attract a good husband. This custom was continued right into the Victorian era to nowadays where instead of a dowry, it's the cost of the wedding that the bride's family pays for. These days, because of the costs of weddings and the fragmentation of the conventional family, the bride's family is often helped out to some extent by the groom's family and the newlyweds who are often in careers as many people getting married are since the average marital age has increased by at least five years over the past 25 or so years. The tradition is that the bride's family pays and doesn't ask the groom's family for any handouts, however, if his family offers to help out, take it if it'll help you. In some Latin American countries, the couple is supposed to find up to 15 couples to be their sponsors, called padrinos and madrinas, each of whom take care of one aspect of the wedding such that the costs are divided among them. The groom pays for the wedding dress. In some Middle East countries, the groom pays a dowry to the bride's family as if buying her, part of which is used to pay for the costs of the wedding. The groom also pays for the house and everything else. In my opinion, if the wedding you want is going to put the bride's family or the couple out on a limb, why bother? The wedding is one day, the marriage is a lifetime. It's not the wedding, it's the marriage that counts. Just have a humble little afternoon wedding without a reception or elope as discussed elsewhere. Go somewhere where nobody knows you where you can get a marriage license then five years down the line when you're making money, have your wedding in a church or renew your vows to double as the wedding you never had but wanted. If families are willing to share the costs, the bride and the groom's families or at least the fathers should get together and discuss what each will cover. The bride's family is generally responsible for Invitations, announcement and stationery Bride's gown and accessories Bride's trousseau Flowers for the maid of honor, bride's maids, flower girl, place of ceremony and reception Engagement and wedding photographs Rental fee for church or room. Fees for musician. Rental fees for aisle carpet, canopy, candlebra and other equipment. Transportation of the bridal party to the ceremony and reception. Everything for the reception. Groom's wedding ring. Groom's wedding gift. Lodging for out-of-town bride's attendance. Physical examination and blood tests. Wedding consultant fees. The groom's family is generally responsible for Bride's engagement and wedding rings Marriage license Clergy fees Bride's bouquet and going away flowers Boutonnieres for the men in the wedding party Flowers for the mother and grandmother Gloves, askets, and ties for the men in the wedding party Bride's wedding gift Gifts for the best man and ushers Lodging for ushers from out of town Wedding trip expenses The rehearsal dinner Honeymoon Female attendants are responsible for The dresses, shoes, and head coverings they wear during the ceremony Transportation to and from the place of the wedding A wedding gift to the couple Pitch in with the other bridesmaids to buy a wedding gift for the couple Help out with showers and gifts Male attendants are responsible for Rental of wedding clothes Transportation to and from the place of the wedding A wedding gift to the couple Pitch in with ushers to buy a gift for the couple Pitch in for the stag party 
Wedding Expenses Checklist General expenses for a wedding are Services of a bridal consultant Stationery Invitations, announcements, thank you stationery Attire Wedding dress, veil, headpiece, etc. Groom's attire Flowers Bouquets and corsages for wedding party and mothers, boutonnieres for the men in the wedding party, floral display at church and reception center, buffet decorations, table centerpieces, cake table and bride's flowers. Photography Engagement portrait, wedding portrait, wedding photos, videotape, albums, etc. Parties Engagement, bridesmaids, bachelors, wedding shower rehearsal dinner and other, more casual parties. Gifts Bridal parties gifts, gifts for best man and ushers. Lodgings for members of the wedding party. Tips Generally 15% of fee or $10 to caterer, professional consultant, waiters, waitresses, bartenders, florists, photographers, baker, musicians, limousine drivers, clergymen, Altar boys, civil service official and church organist. Miscellaneous. Engagement and wedding rings. Engagement and wedding photos. Rehearsal party. Marriage license. Judges and clergymen's fees. Transportation of bridal party to and from the ceremony and reception. Bride's gifts to her attendants. Bride's gift to groom. Rental of awning for ceremony entrance and carpet for aisle. A traffic officer, if necessary. Accommodations for bride's attendance Bridesmaid's luncheon. Groom's gift to his bride. Gifts for the groom's attendance. Ties and gloves for the groom's attendance, if not part of their clothing rental package. Corsages for members of both families. The officiant's fee or donation plus his transportation and lodging if invited and must travel a distance. Honeymoon costs. A gift from all the bridesmaids to the bride. A gift from all the groom's attendants to the groom. Rental fee of church. Fee for organist. Fee for wedding site and things like carpet and platform at the wedding site. Transportation of bridal party, limousines, etc. Reception. Food, drink, entertainment, napkins, waiters, linens, tent, wedding cake reception site rental, etc. Reception site, hotel ballroom, community slash church hall, room in restaurant, home, outside in yard, convention room in hotel, ranch, country inn, etc. Reception decor, flowers, candles, balloons and even renting artificial trees and plants. Reception food, sit down, full course meal, buffet, homemade sandwiches, potato salad, napkins, plates. Reception liquid, champagne, bourbon, whiskey, gin, rum, scotch, tequila, vermouth, vodka, red wine, rose wine, white wine, punch, beer, brandy, liqueurs, fruit juices, water, soft drinks and ice. Wedding scams. The most basic scam is that wedding planners overcharge for their services. It's like the funeral business. They think it's an emotional time for you and you're not thinking straight. They implant the idea into you that the more you spend, the more it means you love the other person and use guilt to get you to spend. It's second nature to them. They've already done it to hundreds of people just like with funerals. Do it yourself. Hire every function separately, photographer, caterer, minister, venue, videographer, etc. Weddings are ripe for rip-offs because of the general cultural attitude about making your wedding special which comes down to the money you spend and people in the wedding business are like people in the funeral business, they're trained to make you feel like a guilty cheapo if you try to go frugal. This is why I like elopements. Just go somewhere, have a simple marriage and live a good life. In the end, the wedding day means nothing next to the marriage day by day. Personally. I have never looked at a wedding video after the fact and I rarely look at wedding pictures. Why bother getting this stuff done?
Life happens day after day not in looking back. I've seen a wedding photographer advertise his rates starting at $2,000. Two grand for a few hours work and maybe 50 bucks for the film. They drink your booze and eat your food too. That's a rib. Wedding scam websites. 4newz.com slash wedding slash wedding underscore scams dot html. Bridaltips.com. Fieryhourweddingplanner.com. Weddingscams.com. Don't have much of a wedding. All that stuff they call tradition is marketing stuff used to sell product. Before 1940, when somebody proposed, they didn't do it with a diamond ring. They usually did it with other precious stone rings. De Beers Diamond Company started a big advertising campaign saying diamonds are forever, using a proposal scene in their ads with the guy giving the girl a diamond ring. It's all advertising. The diamond industry is a fraud because there are loads of diamonds in the world. The few companies conspire to keep the price artificially high. Don't buy a diamond ring. Buy any old ring and save the money for your life together. The Knot.com says the average wedding costs $27,000. There's a 50% chance the wedding will end in divorce. Live in real world. If your parents were willing to pay $10,000 or so for a wedding and your family is not rich, take the money for your future vacation, drive to some inn near where you live to have a quiet wedding or just look in the phone book, find a wedding officiant who can marry you in your apartment anytime for about a hundred bucks. Save money on the wedding. Go to the library, get some books in the number 395.2 section and read them. Books on etiquette at number 395 have chapters on marriage in them. Some bride magazines have ideas but they're really mostly about ads. Weddings are so much for status. People want to present to all their invited guests that they're doing fine even if the wedding is driving them into debt. There are no easy answers except for the one I suggested earlier, go to some vacation spot for a holiday, invite both sets of parents, siblings, and maybe a few friends and that's it. Do it, save the money and move on. Try not to fall into the trap of spending money just to impress people with how elaborate the wedding is. The love you have for each other has absolutely nothing to do with the wedding. It's just a ceremony created by society. It should be irrelevant except for a mild show to the world that you are getting hitched. Never pay for anything up front. Pay in installments as the service or product is rendered. Beware of all professional services when planning your wedding. Many of these people will try to rip you off subtly because they think you are in a romantic haze. Be specific, assertive, and read the fine print. Pay attention to cancellation policies. Try to use services that friends recommend and comparison shop for honeymoon packages. I saw a documentary with several couples discussing their upcoming marriage. The guys were cringing at all the money it was costing and suggested ways to cut them but the girls said they were tacky and didn't want to compromise the image of the perfect wedding they've been brainwashed to want by the wedding industry since they were about three years old. Rent or buy your wedding gown off the rack or a used one. Many stores rent wedding dresses. Look in the telephone book under Weddings and Flowers for discount, wholesale, and mail-order products. Use fake flowers. One guy used a styrofoam cake all except for the top which was real then they wheeled it in the back where the caterer cut up pieces of sheet cake. One guy went out and solicited businesses to give him a discount or a freebie if they could advertise at the wedding like put up a big poster ad or have the business printed on the place mats, etc. He got free catering, the free cake free limousine service, etc. Buy blank wedding invitations. Make photocopies, even color ones and fill them in. There are low-cost alternatives to expensive engraving. You can do the same for the menu. Simply print them out on your color printer. Find someone in the local newspaper who's getting married a few days before you. Buy their flowers from them. Have the reception in the afternoon. Everything's cheaper then, the people will clear out faster. Consider a buffet or a dessert buffet instead of a sit-down meal. For the floral display, you can rent live plants from nurseries or buy inexpensive ones from supermarkets, nurseries, and farmer markets. Instead of hiring a photographer, 
give several friends disposable cameras to take pictures during the wedding. Get a friend to DJ and bring your CD collection for music. Funeral homes rent out their limousines much cheaper than limousine companies for weddings. Don't use a florist who charges an extra consultation fee for decorating the church and reception hall. If you don't want a church wedding, you can get a judge, justice of the peace, governor, mayor, or a ship's captain to marry you almost anywhere even in your home. Look in the phone book. Have a garden wedding. I include a list of all major gardens in the United States later. It's the cheapest and most romantic way to do it for the cost. Do your bridesmaids a favor by picking dresses they can use for other things. Use your imagination to decorate the reception. One guy simply used evergreen trees, white lights, and candles. Instead of paying a caterer, make your own food buffet style, refrigerate it overnight and have a friend or two skip the wedding to set it up. Have a picnic reception. Serve your own booze. Buy it from a wholesaler. Serve non-alcoholic beverages. Instead of the limousine, use a friend's car. Go easy on the flowers. Use ribbons or your own garden flowers. Photographers can be expensive. Hire a pro only for the essential shots and have friends do the others. Or get a friend with a good camera to take all your pictures. If you're really pressed, leave out business and invite only friends and relatives. Have your out-of-town guests stay with friends and relatives instead of at hotels. Assign a friend to host each guest and help them out. Have friends play music at the wedding. Ask friends to entertain with the music. Use boxes of homemade cookies as gifts or have custom t-shirts printed up with your wedding announcement on them. Have friends run the bar. For booze, use punch and beer by the keg. Have an outdoor reception but take heat of weather. Spray in advance for insects, install lighting for nighttime and rent a canopy tent if need be. Rent a Johnny on the spot toilet. Have the reception early in the day to avoid a full blown dinner slash booze reception. Just have a garden party like reception. Instead of a hotel ballroom, hold your reception in a church or community hall or outside or at a home. Those big canopy tents could cost a lot to rent. Buy a used wedding dress. Make your own decorations. Shorten the guest list. Have a small wedding. Do it yourself, all the way to cooking the food. Rent artificial flowers over using real ones. Cheap wedding websites slash frugal wedding websites. Moneyunder30.com slash how hyphen much hyphen average hyphen wedding hyphen cost. Moneypantry.com slash wedding hyphen on hyphen a hyphen budget. Preownedweddingdresses.com, Preowned Wedding Dresses. Wedding Recycle.com, Wedding Recycle and eBay to buy a dress online. Moneypantry.com slash date hyphen night hyphen ideas. A dash budget dash weddingcom Being frugal.net. Blissful wedding.com slash finding hyphen frugal hyphen wedding hyphen gowns. Bridalgarden.org. Budget bride.com, 800 478 9382. Cbn.com slash family slash marriage slash cheap hyphen ways underscore davis.aspx, cheap ways to have a great reception. CHEAP-WEDDING-SOLUTIONS.COM DiscountWeddingGuide.COM DO-IT-YOURSELF-WEDDINGS.COM EHOW.COM, HOW TO SAVE MONEY ON A WEDDING FIERYHOURWEDDINGPLANNER.COM FRUGALBRIDE.COM, CANADA'S FRUGAL BRIDE ONLINE MAGAZINE FRUGALBRIDES.COM frugalfund.com slash weddings.html frugalwedding.com frugalweddingplanning.com miserlymoms.com slash frugalweddings.htm modernbride.com myweddingblog.com offbeatbride.com preownedweddingdresses.com save-money-weddings.com
simple dbt free living dot com slash low hyphen budget hyphen wedding dot html super weddings dot com slash monies of ang secrets dot html the frugal life dot com slash frugal wed dot html usa bride dot com slash wed plan slash a underscore reception underscore savings dot html value bridal dot com slash frugal hyphen wedding dot htm vpo and sale dot com Cheap Wedding Gowns WeddingChannel.com WeddingGrounds.com WEDDING-GUIDE.org WedFrugal.com WikiHow.com slash save hyphen money hyphen on hyphen your hyphen wedding hyphen ceremony hyphen and hyphen reception YourWeddingKit.com Chapter 2 A Wedding Planning Guide Planning a Wedding Info the following chapter is basic information. You might want to read a book or two on the subject. Marriage books are at number 301.42 and number 306.81, number 646.78 or HQ734 HQ801 at the library. Wedding books are at number 392.5, 300 and 95.22 or BL619 and GT2703. Some of the etiquette books at number 395 have good sections on weddings. For general books about entertaining and parties, try number 642.4 and number 793.2 at the library. Books about wedding showers are at number 793.2. Pro-marriage sociology type books are at number 306.810 or HQ536 at the library like the book A Case for Marriage. Why Married People Are Happier, Healthier, and Better Off Financially by Linda J. Waite and Maggie Gallagher. Your library probably has a few bridal magazines in its magazine section. Women's magazines often have articles about weddings. Just look through all the issues for the past year or so. Look in your local phone book for bridal shops. I've seen used wedding gowns for sale in thrift stores in the clothing section of those buy and sell type newspapers and on auction websites. Your local community probably has a buy and sell section on its community website. Some religious churches won't marry you unless you take their premarital course beforehand. Apply for your permit early if you want to get married in a public place like a garden or a beach because they take time to process. If the wedding is big, you might want to hire a professional consultant who will plan it out for you. For a list of local consultants and information, contact Association of Bridal Consultants 860-355-0464 Fax, 860-354-1404 Bridalassociation.com Local Referrals National Bridal Service NationalBridalService.com Wedding slash party consultant organizations to find a wedding planner. American Association of Certified Wedding Planners, ESWP. 210 West College Street Suite 400. Grapevine, Texas, 76051-5255. 844-202-2297. AACWP.org. Association for Wedding Professionals International, AFUPI. 2929 35th Street Suite 5598 Sacramento, California 95817-4008 916-392-5000 AFWPI.com Association of Bridal Consultants, ABC 56 Danbury Road Suite 11 New Milford, Connecticut 06776-3415 860-355-7000 Bridalassociation.com Association of Certified Professional Wedding Consultants, UGPUC 408-227-2792 ACPWC.com ACPWC.net National Association for Catering and Events, NACE 10440 Little Patuxent Parkway Suite 300 Columbia, MD 21044 410-290-5410 NACE.net National Bridal Service, 
NBS. 2225 Grove Avenue. Richmond, Virginia, 23220-4444. 804-342-0055. Nationalbridal.com. Weddings Beautiful Worldwide, WBW. 1004 North Thompson Street Suite 101. Richmond, Virginia, 23220-4444. 804-342-6061 Weddingsbeautiful.com Bridal Consultant Slash Wedding Planner Websites 1 AFWPi.com Nopi.com WC.com Wedding and Special Events Association ACPWC.com Association of Certified Professional Wedding Consultants, San Jose California-based Association for Wedding and Special Event Professionals. UCPUC provides education and certification. AFWPI.com, Association for Wedding Professionals International, Marketing Association for Industry Professionals. BridalAssociation.com, Association of Bridal Consultants, official website for ABC. Includes information for marrying couples as well as bridal consultants. Includes information about membership benefits, educational opportunities, and message board, for ABC members only. ICES.com, International Special Events Society, Organization of Industry Professionals. Also serving non-wedding special event planners. Weddingsbeautiful.com, Weddings Beautiful Worldwide, Home Study Certification Program for Wedding Planners. Kali.org slash society slash relationships slash weddings slash consultants underscore and underscore coordinators slash regional. Kali.org slash society slash relationships slash weddings slash consultants underscore and underscore coordinators slash regional slash north underscore America slash united underscore states. Bridal consultant slash wedding planner websites to aa-wp.com slash wedding planners. DiscountBridalService.com EasyWeddingPlanner.com Software NationalBridal.com PLANNING-A-WEDDING-INFO.com PLAN-THE-WEDDING.com Slash Basic-Wedding-Planner.htm SuperWeddings.com Slash WeddingConsulting.html TheKnot.com WEDDING-PLANNER-DIRECTORY.com Plan Your Wedding Websites AA-WP.com, American Academy of Wedding Professionals BestDestinationWedding.com Slash Forum Comma Destination Weddings Planning Forums BEST-WEDDING-PLAN.com CREATIVE-WEDDING-PLANNING.co.uk DreamWeddingPlanner.com DREAM-WEDDINGS-ON-A-BUDGET.com Slash planning hyphen a hyphen wedding hyphen on hyphen a hyphen small hyphen budget dot html ehow.com, how to plan a wedding Planacioloradoting.com, plan a Colorado wedding Planalondonwedding.co.uk, London Wedding, Plan a London Wedding, Getting Married in London. Planodding.ca, Plan a Wedding Ontario. Plan-a-wedding.co.uk, UK Wedding Directory. Planformywedding.com, Plan for My Wedding. Planmywedding.org, Plan My Wedding. PLAN-YOUR-WEDDING-CEREMONY.com, Plan Your Wedding Ceremony. WeddingPlanSecrets.com, Wedding Plan Secrets. WikiHow.com slash plan hyphen a hyphen wedding hyphen in hyphen six hyphen months. Wedding and Party Consultant Job Websites. American Association of Certified Wedding Planners. ESWP. 210 West College Street Suite 400 Grapevine, Texas 76051-5255 844-202-2297 AACWP.org 
Association for Wedding Professionals International. AFUPI. 2929 35th Street Suite 5598. Sacramento, California, 95817-4008-916-392-5000 AFWPI.com Association of Bridal Consultants ABC 56 Danbury Road Suite 11 New Milford, Connecticut, 06776-3415 860-3415 BridalAssociation.com Association of Certified Professional Wedding Consultants, UGPUC 408-227-2792 ACPWC.com ACPWC.net National Association for Catering and Events NACE 10440 Little Patuxent Parkway Suite 300 Columbia, Maryland, 21044 410-290-5410 NACE.net National Bridal Service NBS 2225 Grove Avenue Richmond, Virginia 23220-4444 804-342-0055 NationalBridal.com Weddings Beautiful Worldwide WBW 1004 North Thompson Street Suite 101 Richmond, Virginia 23220-4444 804-342-6061 Weddingsbeautiful.com Chapter 3 A Wedding Ring Wedding Service Guide Engagement Slash Wedding Rings for Sale Be careful about getting ripped off on a ring. First off, the entire diamond industry is a fraud. Diamonds are not scarce. They can make them artificially. The high price is due to advertising. They started with the phrase diamonds are a girl's best friend. It's just another rock. They want to make you feel guilty like it's worth it to waste a lot of money on a useless ring that they say is valuable because they say your girl or lover is worth it. I've listened to a few former jewel thieves and others in the jewelry business talk about the industry. They say all jewelers lie about the carat and quality of the diamond. It's part of the business. The meaning of the ring is a symbolic union. It can be a piece of tin. It doesn't have to be a hyped up diamond. Bridaltips.com, tips on buying a ring. Allmygold.com. BlueNile.ca. CUBIC-ZIRCONIA-CZ-PLATINUM-JEWELRY.com Goldspeed.com Jewelrydays.com Keepsake.com PROMISE-RINGS.info TASERI.com Thering.com Tiffany.ca, Canada Tiffany.com Titaniumra.com WeddingBandsFast.com John Christian Wedding Rings 888-646-6466 JOHN-CHRISTIAN.COM Titanium Wedding Rings 888-656-6564 TitaniumCommitment.com United States Wedding Services AFWPI.com Association for Wedding Professionals International 800plantit.com, Lush, Living Plant and Flower Rentals A Beautiful Affair of Theheart.com, Wedding Ceremonies in New York, New Jersey, PA, CT, DE BeautifulWeddings.net CelebrityWeddingServices.com, New York, New Jersey and Connecticut DisneyHoneymoons.com DisneyWeddings.com Marriott.com slash meeting slash wedding slash services comma hotel chain MountainCyberVillage.com Smoky MTNS ShenandoahWeddings.org Shenandoah Valley Wedding Services Taji.com Wedding Planning, Internet Bridal Resource Wedding Service Websites BrideWants.ca Destination Wedding Directory.co 
eventctive.com. Findottingvenue.co.uk. Guidesforbrides.co.uk. Mewedding.com. Net-weddings.co.uk. Onude.com. Ourdreamwedding.com. Partnerssignup.thenot.com. Pureweddingindex.co.uk. Pureweddingindex.com. Receptionhalls.com. T-H-E-W-E-D-D-I-N-G-G-U-I-D-E.net. Thuddingdirectory.us. Thudingfinder.co.uk. Thudingplanner.co.uk. UK-WEDDING-DIRECTORY.co.uk. WEDDING-DIRECTORY.org. WeddingDetails.com. WeddingDirectoryOttawa.com. WeddingPlanner.co.uk. WeddingServiceCompanies.com. WEDDINGSERVICES101.co.uk. WeddingVendors.com. WeddingWire.com. WedExperts.com. YourWeddingPro.co.uk. Chapter 4. A Wedding Photography Guide. A Wedding Photography Guide. Some people think you shouldn't leave this important ceremony to a friend and say you must hire a photographer. It's debatable. You can have both posed shots and spontaneous shots where the photographer takes pictures of the action in progress. At the reception itself, you could put up a photo display of both families near the receiving line. Black and white and soft focus shots are good for novelty as well as double exposures or special filters for effect. You might go for a video slash photo review where still photos and old home movies are spliced together to make for a video which you can show to romantic music during your reception and slash or splice your wedding video to it for the memories. You might also want to submit some pictures to the local newspaper. You might consider writing up a list of all photographs you want such as who you want to be posed with and what specific events during the wedding do you want to be photographed. Give this list to the photographer. The few big wedding photographer websites. NPPA.org, Professional Photographers. WPJA.com, The Wedding Photo Journalist Association. WeddingPhotographer.net, Wedding Photographer Network, Wedding Photography Directory with articles, tips, and information on photographers in the US, UK and beyond. Kali.org slash business slash arts underscore and underscore entertainment slash photography slash photographers slash wedding underscore and underscore events comma click a region. Wedding photography websites. Bridaltips.com slash photog.htm. Frugalbride.com slash choosing photo.html. iqphoto.com slash choosing.htm. Superweddings.com slash article hyphen choosing photo.html. BellaPictures.com, Bella Pictures, National Wedding Photography Company that contracts with local companies. CentralOhioPhoto.com, Central Ohio Photography, professional wedding, event, and senior photographer serving the Columbus and Pickerington area. EKPhoto.com slash question.htm comma wedding photography FAQ, detailed and easy to read FAQ for brides and grooms nationwide. Includes links to online wedding albums. GeorgiaStreetPhoto.com, George Street Photo, Chicago-based studio with wedding photographers in every state. Weddings.usabride.com slash wedding hyphen planning hyphen advice slash list hyphen of hyphen photos hyphen for hyphen your hyphen wedding hyphen day comma photos to take, a list of many possible photographs to ask your photographer to take. A list of wedding photography websites and blogs from blog.feedspot.com slash wedding underscore photography underscore blogs. blog.feedspot.com slash uk underscore wedding underscore photography underscore blogs. 37framesphotographyblog.com abmweddingphotos.com slash blog. alexisjaworski.com slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog. AlistairFreeman.co.uk slash blog. Amia and D. Jordan blog.com. ArjunKArthaPhotography.com slash photography hyphen blog. 
bethanydanblog.com slash home bigbouquet.co.uk slash photography blog.carmenaandingo.com blog.porierweddingphotography.com carolinetroun.net slash news katherinegidry.com slash blog chris-seddon.co.uk slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog chrismanstudios.com slash blog christophsixsu.ca danacubbageweddings.com slash blog dpphotography.co.uk slash blog ericmcvay.com slash blog feedspot.com slash news slash wedding underscore photography genevevenisley.com slash blog goldenhourstudios.com slash blog hbaphotography.com slash blog hofferphotography.com slash blog hornphotographyanddesign.com evisaphotography.com slash evisa hyphen wedding hyphen blog ilariaeandrea.it jasonthomascrocker.com slash blog jeremyjoe.com slash blog jaylaplant.com slash blog JoePainWeddingPhotography.com slash Raleigh-Wedding-Photographer-Blog CaitlinJamesBlog.com Kevin Mullins Photography.co.uk slash Wedding-Photography-Blog Kristen Weaverblog.com LauraColeyBlog.ca Lauren Fair PhotographyBlog.com LavinPhoto.com.au slash blog LennonDJersaBlog.com lncphotography.in slash creative hyphen wedding hyphen blogs m2 photographynet slash blog mandg wedding photography.co.uk slash latest hyphen weddings hyphen documentary hyphen wedding hyphen photographer mango studios.com mark seymour photography.co.uk slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog martincphotography.co.uk slash weddings marywrblog.com matthewmorgan.net slash blog michellescottphoto.com slash blog organicmomentsweddings.com slash blog personkillian.com slash blog photobugcommunity.com slash all hyphen posts photographick.com slash blog pixiesinthecellar.co.uk slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog hyphen html ramitbatra.com slash blog rangefinderonline.com raphnogle.com slash weddings slash blog rogerspictures.com slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog rootweddings.com slash blog ryanflynnphotography.net slash blog Savo.ie slash Ireland Weddingy Photographer Silkphotos.com slash blog Spicialmomentsusa.com slash blog Stevecoophotography.com slash blog StephenMillerPix.com slash blog SusanStripling.com slash blog TheHWeddingPhotography.com slash blog TheScobies.com slash blog TheHexesperience.com slash journal tierneyphotography.co.uk slash blog tomellisphoto.com slash blog treephotovideo.net.au slash wedding hyphen photography hyphen blog union11.com slash blog visualsofscotland.co.uk slash blog wasiophotography.com slash blog whitehouseweddingphotography.com slash blog wildconnectionsphotography.com slash blog zara-zoo.com slash blog wedding photography from kali.org slash business slash arts underscore and underscore entertainment slash photography slash photographers slash wedding underscore and underscore events subcategories africa asia caribbean europe middle east north america Oceania California Wedding Photographers ablphotography.com accentsphoto.com akrolandphotography.com aliciabrook.com amyshyotani.com 
AndersonPhotos.com AndrewKircher.com AngeliCantonio.com AnnieVanWinkle.com ArtClarity.com ArtOFEmotion.com ACITDevelops.com AugieChong.com AustinsUptown.com Avancina.com slash index.html BarnettPhoto.com BaronSpafford.com BDarling.com BellaPhotoStudio.com BellaStudios.com